Hello, everyone. Welcome to this lesson where we are looking at uh, three candlesticks formation and where we are adding them to come up with one candle. If you went through the previous video and you understood the principle, this is just an extension of where we are coming from on that two candlestick addition formation. So like the first one, we are going to look at the first candle and the opening price of that candle is going to be our opening price as well. Then we project it to the new candle. Then we are going to look at the last candle. In this case, it was the second red candle. Then the lowest price of that becomes our closing price of the new candle. So just like in the previous video, the first candles open, and the last candles closing are the opening and the closing prices that we are going to take. But in this case, we have got a third candle, which happens to be in the middle of the two. Now this second, this second candle will serve to give us either the lowest or the highest price, or is going to serve no purpose at all. So for example, if the second candle was contained within the first candle and the third candle. In other words, if it didn't extend beyond any of the highest or the lowest price of the two candles, then we would overlook it because the opening and the close and the highest and the lowest would be in the first and the last candle. So in this case, because it extends more than the both candles, it will give us the weeks of the new candle that we are making after adding. So if you we project the highest of that green candle, it will make the highest price for that trading session. Then the lowest price of the green candle or the opening price in this case would give us the lowest price for the new candle. So in this case, we've got a red candle but it has got wicks that extend to the top and to the bottom. So this is the same way that you can add, maybe if you get like even 10 candles, you're just looking at the first and the last for your open and close. Then you look at the candle which has, which has extended the highest and the candle which has extended the lowest. Those prices are going now to form the wicks of the candles that you would have produced at the end of the day. So once you have done it many times, you will get the hang of it and you will be able to understand what is going on. So after this, we are going to look at candlestick formations that involve two candles and later we'll look at candlestick formations that involve three candles. Then through the process of candlestick addition, we are going to look at what the candles are informing us in terms of the psychological makeup or what each of maybe the traders are looking at out there and thinking what is this candle saying what do we expect the market to do next so we'll look at those in the upcoming videos thank you and remember keep washing your hands keep a safe distance and if you can avoid the outdoors do so if you can go shopping Try to go early when the shops open. That way you find an, a store that has been disinfected and the till points and the touch points have been cleaned and you, you expose yourself less to the virus. So take care and stay healthy.